MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the World Series between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Yankees. Hi again everybody Matt Vaskersian welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network with me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and Dan we'll start with you this series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting looking at these two squads it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat it's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher so the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail it's the moment these players have been waiting for game one of the fall classic is on MLB Network and it's coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your New York Yankees. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, of course, you have to like what Anthony Rizzo brings to this offense. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last ten games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. Michael Fulmer gets the call on the mound here at home for game one of the World Series. What do you have for us on him Danny. Well I'll tell you starting pitchers go. He's one of the best around. He's really found what works for him and he's had a lot of success because of it. I think he expects to go out there and dominate every game he starts and he usually does. No one should be surprised if he turns in a really solid start here. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Yankees. And yes, they move players all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics and really apply it to their club. You'll see guys moving all over the field today. Leading off for the Yankees, designated hitter, C.J. Sellers. First offering on its way. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. A solo shot here to left, his first homer here in the series, as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Well, there she goes, the first home run of the World Series. I was kind of waiting to see when this might happen. You knew we had great offenses, but we're off to a grand start. First game, we got one homer at least. Ready for another chance? CJ Sellers. Designated hitter, CJ Sellers. Drilled down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. And he'll pull into second with one away. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Digging in to try it again. Michael. 
for him here in this one. Now a look and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back in there. One run, five hits so far. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. And a dive, but he's back in. Runner goes for third. And that's through into left, a base hit. Sellers rounds third and is digging for the plate. The runner from second crosses the plate. Oh, oh. Go the old CNI base hit. C.J. Sellers will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Good piece of hitting there, but you can't help wonder what might have been if the previous play didn't unfold like the way it did. Now double. Runners on his way to third. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 77. Over two on his line thus far. Deep dive. Let's go right here. Now the 0-1. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Digging in once again, number 22. We'll number see if he 22. can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Soft liner to the right side, and he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. Digging in and looking for more. C.J. Sellers. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. Kivlahan rounds the corner and is headed home. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Striding in once again, Michael Melendez. Michael Melendez. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base and after a good start. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory.